Hello, this is Patrick Botticelli with Colonial Airstream in Lakewood, New Jersey. Today I would like to show you around the new 2015 Airstream Flying Cloud 30FB bunk. That's a front bedroom with a rear bunk. This model is very, very popular, extremely popular. Uh, we sell them just as fast as we can get them in. Let's take a look inside. Heavy-duty deadbolt lock. Heavy-duty entry door lock. Nice aluminum grab handle. Just look at the way the deadbolt operates. Look at the hardware on this door. Airstream does an incredible job with their skill and craftsmanship building these trailers. Screen door detaches from the main door. Locks in place. All TIG welded, stainless steel hinges, six rivets on each hinge. This door channel is made from extruded aluminum. And look what a great job they did on this weld up here. There's extruded aluminum gutter rail over the door. The door itself is clad in aluminum, riveted. There's a window in the entry door. And that shut. Beautiful. Let's look at these hinges. They're just so heavy duty, very beefy. Now, 70% of the Airstreams ever made since 1931 are still on the road and still in use today. A step light outside. There's even a catch. It catches the door, prevents it from blowing around on a windy day. Take a walk inside. Wow. This is very spacious. Have some vista view windows over dinette area. They're pleated. You close them for darkening. Ocean air roller shades. Very, very high-end shade. This is new for 2015 on a flying cloud. Last year we had uh, aluminum blinds. This has the new QuietStream ducted HVAC system for the heat pump and air conditioning. These are your intakes. And this is where the cool air or heat pump will go through. This model is also equipped with the second air conditioner and bedroom. This is a 13,500 BTU. And the rear is a 15,000 BTU air conditioning. A little dry erase board by the entry door. Magnetic. Key hooks. Code hooks. Magazine storage. Fire extinguisher. Battery disconnect switch by switching this on and off. Turns the battery system on and off. We also have your step light and your porch light and your ceiling lights, which are dimmable. And this is plywood with laminate. There's no particle board in any construction. It's regular laminate. This is not a decal. They have a, a laminate edge banding as well. Heavy duty grab bar in the inside. They leave this area open for shoe storage or boot storage. Heavy duty screen door guards. Bumper for exiting uh, the trailer. If you're a little uh, taller and you want and you actually accidentally bumped your head, you're going to hit this rubber cushion. In the bedroom, we have a 60 by 75 RV short queen bed. It's a pillow top memory foam mattress. Airstream uses some of the best mattresses as a, a standard equipment in the RV industry. Bed lifts up. Sun hydraulic props. 
gives you access to seated construction. That's very high grade cabinet ply, pocket hole screws. There's no staples here. There's laminate over plywood. The vinyl floor in this trailer goes throughout. So the floor is put down first. Then every cabinet and appliance is hand carried through the entry door. This also gives us access to get to the trunk space. Comes with the bins. This door opens here. Premium hardware. It's all detachable if you needed to remove this door or make adjustments in the future. You could do so with this hardware. J latch, very secure. You have five pounds of pressure to open that. Bed pushes down. We have a, a smoke detector and CO2 detector in the trailer as well as a propane leak detector. This is a regular opening window, but it's also an emergency exit. You pull the two red handles, twist, and lift. All the windows will lock into a specific groove. There's three different height adjustments. And in case of emergency, you pull this out, the screen would come undone, and you could climb out of the trailer. There's a wardrobe on either side of the bed with a hanging rod. Additional storage below. There's directional reading lights over the bed. Overhead roof locker. Two speakers in the bedroom. Front window opens just like the side window, but it does have a, an exterior rock protection over it. All the windows are tinted and there's safety glass. There's an electrical outlet on either side of the bed, some cubbies for alarm clock, glasses, contact lenses. And there's also USB charge port so you can charge your cell phone. Curtains in the front. On this side we have your ceiling light switch with another dimmer for the bedroom. We have a television on our articulating arm so you can angle the TV for better viewing while laying in bed. This is a two zone air conditioning trailer. So there's a sensor in the bedroom. So one thermostat, but you control both areas of the trailer separately. We have an electrical outlet. And then this trailer is equipped with an optional 1000 watt inverter. We can unplug the TV from this outlet, turn the inverter on, plug into this outlet, and we'll take our stored battery juice and invert it to electricity for up to 1,000 watts. So if you're not plugged in at a campground or don't have a generator, you'll still have some electricity for small appliances. On this side of the bed, we have some additional storage with a hang wardrobe rod. Additional storage on this side. And the bedroom is very spacious. There's a furnace duct on the floor. The furnace is a uh, forced hot air propane uh, system that ducts air into your bedroom, your galley, your bathroom, and your tanks. Down below, below the underbelly, the tanks are an insulated and heated chamber. It will give you a threshold protection if you're doing some cold weather camping. By no means is it meant for four season camping, but you could withstand some cold temperatures that are below freezing. We have a lounge on this side. A little cutout here is for the furnace return. We have some storage below. Comes with the plastic bin. If we remove the pillows from this bed, it's enough for an average size adult or children to sleep. This is all ultra leather. Ultra leather is a very, very tough covering material available in the RV and marine industry, as well as residential applications. It's more resilient than some of the cloth options that RV manufacturers offer. On a resale, uh, it's preferred if it's a used trailer. People love that ultra leather. They know it's going to hold up very, very well. Blu-ray players play CDs and DVDs. We have a stereo head unit, USB charge ports, and a TV switch box. 
There's three TVs in this trailer. Come standard with two, and there's one optional one for the bunk. Another inverter outlet, or regular outlet. A lot of overhead roof locker storage, all the way down into the kitchen area. Two more directional reading lights, two more 30 inch windows. Sink cover, some people also use it as a cutting board. Very, very deep, stainless steel, high quality, thick gauge sink. Mowing faucet, this is a residential application faucet, not a plastic faucet. This is, uh, this is gonna last you a long time. We have some storage underneath the kitchen sink, comes with a waste pail. They even take their CNC machine and cut out a insert so the trash pail doesn't slide around. Sharp Carousel Convection Microwave. It's a regular microwave, but it also doubles as an electric convection oven. There's an electric element in the bottom and there's a fan in the back. Heats up the food, circulates the uh, air around the food, and you could cook a pizza in here, popcorn, or just use it as a regular microwave. You could roast. Uh, you can bake. There's a lot of stuff you could do with this microwave. And it is an option on this model. Standard, you would have a gas oven below the cooktop with a regular microwave. There's an option for the convection microwave. You go up to a brand name microwave. The oven's deleted, which gains you all this storage. People love the storage versus the gas oven. And these are all full extension drawer glides. Wooden boxes here. Same J-hook that keeps it shut, five pounds. Silverware organizer. 30 inch porthole windows over the kitchen sink area with a shade. Your sea level tank monitoring system shows you how much battery juice you have. Fresh water, gray water, and black water. Black water is your toilet waste, gray water is your sink and shower waste. We could also turn on the water pump from here. A regular electrical outlet, and then we have our 1000 watt inverter system. You could turn the system on and off from this location here. You have a light over the cooktop, and a fan, stainless steel cover, bifold, heavy duty grills here. You can light each one of the burners from the front, and it has electric spark for ignition. Little pantry area here. And a generous amount of either kitchen or bedroom storage, whatever you decide to put here. Generous amount of storage. On the corner of all the high traffic area cabinets, there's solid oak. So instead of having laminate come up, they get chip. They do put solid oak here. There's also aluminum rail on the edge of the countertop instead of caulk. Below the dinette, we have storage. Or you could lift up the cushion and get to it this way. We have another inverter outlet and a regular electrical outlet underneath the dinette. Some additional storage on this side. And the dinette is elevated off the floor, so the ultra leather does not touch the flooring. So if you're cleaning, you don't have to worry about getting this wet. There's your television, 28 inch LED Samsung television with a regular outlet and inverter outlet next to it. We have your comfort control center, which allows you to control zone one or zone two for air conditioning or heat pump. Your fan speed, low, medium, or high for your air conditioning or heat pump. Your mode, which would be furnace, air conditioning, heat pump, fan only, or automatic mode. You can control the clock or program from here, change your temperature up and down, and you can also see the inside temperature, 68 degrees, very comfortable day here in New Jersey in the fall. You can also change from Fahrenheit to Celsius. This has an eight cubic foot automatic two-way Dometic refrigerator. It's gas and electric. Adjustable shelves, 
throughout. Your controls up top to turn it on and off, to turn it from auto, which will automatically check to see if you're plugged into electricity. If you are, it will use electricity. If you're not, it will switch to propane. Or you can manually override it so you can just run it on propane. There's a check light here that will illuminate if it misfires on propane and you can change your temperature from cold to coldest. When the power is on in the refrigerator, there's a light that will come on as well. Little guards here to keep your stuff from falling up against the door. Adjustable shelves, two bins in the bottom. And these items here, if you put an item in, it will keep it tight up against the body of the door of the refrigerator. Below that we have your converter charger, this converts your AC to DC, charges the batteries, and then houses all your breakers. All the breakers here for your appliances and electrical outlets, a main breaker for the trailer, everything is labeled right here. You also have a GFCI test or reset button for your outside electrical outlet, refrigerator, bathroom, kitchen, any outlets that are in wet areas. Next to that, we have our propane leak detector, and we have four deep, wide drawers, full extension. You can sign a drawer to each one of the kids for clothing, or you could use it for kitchen storage. Another speaker here. Very, very deep wardrobe. This is very deep. This is about 32 to 34 inches. You even have a has a light inside. In the bedroom area, we have a uh, 54 inch wide by 76 inch long bed. Same grade mattress. There's another ceiling light switch. Two USB charge ports. There's a step. So once you step on the bed, you can step here. And you can get up into the bunk. The bunk holds up to 150 pounds. We don't recommend anything more than that. There's two air conditioning ducts up here. Another Vista View window below. We have some cubby storage for games and toys for the kids. Side window, rear window, televisions on an articulating arm. This is the optional TV. Inverter outlet, a regular outlet, cable inlet. And there's a directional reading light as well as smoke detector. This trailer has two fantastic fans, one in the galley, one in the bunk area. They have motorized lids, rain sensors, their variable speed control, and uh, the screen is removable for cleaning. It has a quick release and that brings a high volume of air exhausting out of this trailer. In the bathroom we just slide this to the left very spacious after you're done showering you can towel off get dressed brush your teeth shave everything in this compartment before you exit into the rest of the trailer this is one of the larger bathrooms on the 30 foot models there's also a towel ring here we control the water heater this is the xt series gives you nine gallons continuous flow hot water using a six gallon reservoir preheats the water before it brings it into the tank and then superheats it using either electric or gas. Red light will come on as a warning if the uh, water heater misfires using propane. 18 inch, 18 inch wide porthole windows, another ocean air roller shade, china toilet bowl, and this one has an electric fill and electric flush. Dometic toilet. In the shower we have a towel bar, we have a clothesline, this clips in across so you can hang wet bathing suit or towel up. Shower wand with a pause built into it. Shower diverter. And then the retractable shower door. We've been using this shower door since 1998. A lot of other high-end manufacturers use the same shower door. It's very, very durable. Uh, it also has a squeegee built into it so when you roll it back, it will squeegee all the water off to present, prevent mold or mildew. There's two lights inside here. If it's too bright, you can turn one of them off. And you have your master wall switch for that. All the lighting in this trailer is LED. Bathroom vent. 
exhaust outside. That's by code required. There's also a gap in the top of the door here to allow excess air back into this compartment so it could properly exhaust. There's storage below the sink and a toilet paper holder. This whole frame is solid oak as well. So very, very durable. So now what I'm going to do is uh, show you a couple more things and then I'm going to fold down the dinette so you can see how this bed works as well. Skylight in the galley with shade really darkens this area. Another fantastic fan. Again, rain sensor, motorized lid, variable speed control, quick release screen, and it has a tinted lid. Okay, now let me set up this camera so I could show you how the dinette folds down. Okay, to fold down the dinette, first I want to do is move the decor pillows, which are included as part of the Golden Knight interior decor, to give you the darker countertops and a darker bedspread. Um, what I could do is lift up the cushion here and here, and I'll telescopically push the table down. So you pull these two little clamps. There's another clamp underneath that allows the table to slide in and out. You can now spin the table. And what I'm going to do is uh, push down on it. As I'm pushing down, I'll lift up this cushion, get it on top. Do the same on this side. Once you get it in place, slide it under the back cushion. Put your knee on it. Clamp it down. Now the table's down. This cushion and this cushion make up the middle part of the bed and you just remove the other three cushions out of your way and you got a very very large sleeping surface for two adults or two children. Put it back together, just lay the cushions back down in the correct placement, put the middle one in, take the two sides out, Unlock the table, slide it out, lift up the cushion, get it out of the way, both sides, pull it up, lock it in place, clamp it, put the pillows back on, you're done. Let's take a walk outside, I want to show you some more features. Alright, we'll grab our keys, I'm going to turn the battery system off for storage. And exit the trailer. I'm going to lock it and I'm going to deadbolt it for extra security. We have a bifold steel step. The whole bottom of the trailer is wrapped in aluminum and sealed. Tanks are in an insulated chamber and heated. Got a waste hose storage tube on the other side of the trailer. Center support for the awning. This is a zip D awning. It's a metal wrapped umbrella material. It's a charcoal gray on the Flying Cloud series. And you might not know this, but the Flying Cloud represents about 60% of our production. So that's the series. That's the 19C, the 20C, 23D, 23FB, 25A, 25B, 25 front bedroom twin, 25 front bedroom queen, 27FB queen, 27 FB twin, 28W rear queen, 28A rear twin, 30 FB flying cloud bunk, which is this model, the 30W rear uh, queen flying cloud with recliners or lounge, and the 30A rear twin flying cloud with recliners or lounge. That's the whole flying cloud series. So you can see there's a lot of different options there. 225, 75. R15 load range D Goodyear Marathon tires, aluminum alloy rims. There's a shock on each wheel. Never lube, sealed hub assembly. Never adjust brakes, self adjusting brakes. There's drum brakes, 12 inch. Refrigerator ventilation system with a drain for the drip pan in the refrigerator. This is completely sealed from the elements. 
We do not recommend storing anything inside this compartment. Outside LED porch light, outside GFCI protected electrical outlet. This is the Atwood XT water heater, drain plug, pressure relief valve. Never store anything in this compartment either. Outside compartment for storage. Stick the key in, turn it, lift, twist, insulated, weather sealed. We know it's lockable. We have diamond plating on the floor and there's a light inside here as well. And there's an access hole here to bypass the water heater and open up a low point drain. This trailer has stabilizer jacks all four corners. So all four corners of the trailer have a jack which will take the bounce out of your walk. They're not meant to level the trailer. They're meant to take the bounce out of your walk and stabilize when you're parked. We give you the tool. You could also get a three quarter inch socket and a cordless driller impact and zip them down power if you needed to. LED running lights in the exterior. It's just a gorgeous trailer. All the Airstreams are. This one is spectacular. LED cast aluminum taillights, polished aluminum rear bumper, rear bumper storage with diamond plating inside, blocks of wood, wheel chocks, power cord, anything that you're gonna have set up at the campground is gonna lay in the ground that might get mud or dirt on it. Great place to store it here versus one of your trunk compartments uh, inside. But it's your call. Another rear storage compartment. This is a 50 amp power cord because this has the optional second air conditioner, which I believe is necessary on this model. There's another light in this compartment as well. Rear license plate bracket with light. On the road side of the trailer, we have another stabilizer jack point, television or satellite connection. We have our gray and black tanks. Gray is your auxiliary wash. Black is your main. You always empty the main tank first. Take the little cap off here. There's a little LED light outside. You'd hook up your waste hose, hook it into the campground connection. We recommend using a donut for a solid connection. Pull out the wastegate, waste will discharge out of the tank. Once that's done, you close the gate, put the little tethers on it, and then do the same with your gray. That will wash out the waste hose and the discharge tube. And then periodically, after you empty your black tank, you leave the valve open, you hook up a garden hose to this connection here. And inside the tank, there's a wand under pressure to spray the walls of the tank down to get the residual waste out of the tank. Very, very nice feature to have. You know how most people do it that have other brand RVs that don't have this connection? They drag their garden hose out from their house, bring it inside the trailer, and start spraying down the toilet. What a mess. What a potential for a mess and a disaster you have, but not with Airstream. City water connection. Colonial will give you a 25 foot freshwater hose. It's a white hose with surgical vinyl. You don't want to use a garden hose for this connection, although it does look like one. You want to use the white surgical vinyl hose. This has a water pressure regulator built into it. So protect your trailer from high pressures at the campground. Unexpected high pressure jolt could burst some plumbing, not on an Airstream. Heavy metal. 50 amp power connection, metal door here. So we plug in at a campground. Airstream gives you a 30 amp adapter so you could downgrade your 50 amp to 30. So if you plug into a campground that does not have 50, you'll still be able to plug in. You'll be able to run one or the other air conditioning, but not at both at the same time. Colonial also gives you a 30 to 20 amp electrical adapter. So you could plug the trailer into a residential outlet for charging. There's a 54 gallon freshwater tank, lockable door, 751 key, your standard key to open up a water door. 
there's a drain between the axles, and then there's two low point drains that are gravity drains for winterization right next to them. Outside utility shower with hot and cold water. The Atwood furnace and furnace exhaust. Waste hose storage tube. Another stabilizer jack, a VIN plate, tire safety information, tire pressure 65 PSI, heavy duty stainless steel wrap protectors. They're on a hinge, so you can take the three nuts off and swing it out so you can clean leaves and debris out from behind it. Now, how come leaves and debris might get back there? Well, it's gapped from the body. The gap is there to allow some deflection if you hit some road debris so it won't dent the soft aluminum body behind it. So they are swingable so you can clean behind them. This trailer comes standard with a rectangle solar stone guard to protect the single rectangle window in the front of the trailer. Our experience in the past has been to add the uh, wrap protectors around the front, the solar stone guard wrap protectors, to protect the aluminum body. Behind here is not a window on this model, it's aluminum. If you have a rock come up and hit the rock guard, great. If you have it come up a little bit higher and hit your soft aluminum body, now you get about a $1,200 to $1,500 repair if you wanted to replace that segment. These rock guards are minimal cost as a factory order. I get them on every one of my 30 FB bunks to protect this vulnerable area. Very important to have. You should have that on all these models. I highly recommend it. Two 30 pound uh, steel bottles and aluminum bottle cover. Bottles look like a barbecue cylinder, a, a, res, a average residential barbecue would have, but they're larger. Unthread this, which will allow the bottle cover to lift off, which then will allow you to undo your bottles and take them off to get them filled. This also allows you to switch from left to right bottle as use. There's a little red bubble that will show that that bottle is empty or green that shows you there's propane in it and it also has an automatic switch over. Electric hitch jack to raise and lower the height of the trailer. There's a light outside to illuminate the jack here at night. This cap comes off, allows you to manually operate the jack up and down with a tool that is supplied. Once you get the trailer set up at your campground or your house for the first time, you get it completely level, you can then take a screwdriver and calibrate this so the bubble stays in the middle. And from that point forward, you know that your trailer is close to level. Heavy duty coupler takes a two and five sixteenths inch ball. Colonial Airstream gives you a hitch lock with all their trailers. 11,000 uh, pound safety chains are included with all Airstream trailers. There's a fuse for electric hit hitch jack. There's a 30 amp slow blow fuse. The frame itself is steel. It's a box frame. It's not a C channel, so it's very, very rigid. The trailer also has your seven, uh, standard seven way connection that most travel trailers and most vehicles will have today. There's a quick disconnect for uh, external propane source. So if you wanted to hook up uh, a low pressure barbecue grill, we give you the hose. It goes from the grill to here. You just turn it on and off. Batteries, this has two Group 24 Series Interstate Deep Cycle batteries. Colonial gives you a battery lock with all the trailers. Something that I would recommend buying if, if you don't have one already. Batteries are very expensive and they're very commonly stolen in storage areas or at campgrounds. So definitely uh, look into getting one of those. This front trunk compartment, diamond plate, very deep, light inside, insulated, weather sealed, lockable, generous amount of storage. There's also a spare tire underneath the A-frame of the trailer. Same size as the tires on the uh, travel trailer now, just a steel wheel versus aluminum wheel. It's 30 foot 11 inches. That's from the center of the ball to the back bumper. So the body of a, a 30 foot FB flying cloud is about 28 foot from front window to rear window inside. This trailer is for sale at Colonial Airstream. My name is Patrick Botticelli. I'd love to assist you. 
Our telephone number is 1-800-265-9019, and the website is www.colonialairstream.com. I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.